Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to Mood Scale Adventure. Hey, I'm excited. We're in the garage. We've got an install to do, and I am extremely excited about that. So today, what we're going to do is talk a little bit about these. This is the Gleaming Alloy Stilettos Rear Control Arm uh, Swap Slash Lift. So this is not just swapping out your rear control arms. It's also adding a true two-inch lift. So for me, for example, taking off that rear hazard sky lift portion, and then this will be a true two-inch on the back. All right, I'm excited. Hope you are too. All right, so like I said, I've got the hazard sky lift on and uh, I'm curious to see what the difference is going to be from what I'm getting clearance wise with the hazard sky versus what I'm going to get with the stiletto. So I'm going to take a few measurements and then we'll measure it after we get the stilettos on. So first the muffler in the back tends to be where I make contact the most. That looks like, oh boy, if I'm right in the middle. 13 inches even. We're looking at eh, about nine inches even. About 35 and a half. So, so I'll be curious what the measurements are when we get done with these, uh, the stiletto install. Hey, one thing I need to mention before we get into this video too far is that, hey, Moot Scale Adventure merch has been relocated, all right? It's no longer at longcreekoverland.com. We have moved over to uh, shopoverlandapparel.com. And they guarantee that if you order a shirt or a sticker or something along those lines, it'll be out within seven days. So that is uh, that should be an improvement, right? Come out faster. So if you're interested in Moose Kale merch, head over to shopoverlandapparel.com and check us out, all right? Appreciate it. All right, so let's talk just a little bit about why I'm so excited about this, uh, this install and this, uh, this mod. So with these stilettos, uh, what am I hoping to gain? All right, so if you've seen the lower control arms, the stock lower control arms, uh, you'll notice that they've got like this kind of swoosh to them, if you will. It, it kind of, it just goes up like this. Not a straight angle up, but it kind of sweeps. And then it's got a decent amount of width to them. Uh, so as far as like hanging up on rocks and stuff like that, it, it catches them as opposed to kind of rolling over them. Uh, so that's not a great setup on this if you're going to be off-roading with it right uh it also it's not made of i think it's made of like aluminum or something like that i don't know it's a it's a pretty poor quality overall so with these stilettos so you got steel i mean solid steel as well as you've got a straight angle up as opposed to it sweeping up so if you do happen to hit a rock with these it should roll over it instead of hanging up on it the way that this is formed it's if, if you put a lift on yours if you put a, whether it be Hazard Sky, MFC, uh, Rough Country, it doesn't matter. But you might have noticed that the spring, it ends up with a bow in it. It's designed so that that spring will sit like it would uh, if it was stock, right? So that's a big advantage as well. On top of that, like my, my Hazard Sky lift, the rear portion of it, because I got the two-inch uh, lift level kit, uh, the rear portion, I believe, is like an inch and a quarter lift. It's not a straight two-inch lift. These are not only just an improvement over your stock control arms, but they're also an integrated two-inch lift to them. So that, I mean, this is, this is uh, just, this is new to the KL world, right? This is something new, and uh, it just, man, it's just awesome. It's, it's, it's a great addition to, uh, to the KL line, you know. It's a great opportunity to have, a solid real lift in the rear end not just a spacer lift but something better you know what i mean so that that's man, that's why i'm so excited about these uh these stilettos all right so first things first 
anytime you're going to do a uh, you know an install or something like that you get you get a, uh, a piece of equipment or or a modification that you're going to do check out your instructions and i just want to say with gleaming alloy one these instructions they're awesome all right so real quick uh tools that you'll need for this so we've got some sockets here 19 18 17 millimeter sockets obviously a ratchet to go with that and then the same wrenches as the sockets a 19 18 17 millimeter wrench five millimeter uh allen wrench and then a uh then a torque wrench all right all right so first thing we got to do here is we're going to take a marker and mark the cam bolts all right and th the reason i'm going to do this the reason it suggests doing this is because then whenever we put everything back together and we put those cam bolts back together you'll be able to at least get the alignment close if not perfect all right so as you can see i already jacked it up got my jack stand underneath there and took the tire off so we're ready to go all right so we're going to take this jack and, and i've got a board here and we're going to take the board with the jack and just place it basically underneath the control arm right at the knuckle bolt and then we'll jack it up and that'll compress the spring now that th this is where you can decide if you want to use a spring compressor or not but i'm just going to go but i'm not going to use a spring compressor because once we take the knuckle bolt out uh we'll be able to just drop it right down so i already went through and i removed the uh stabilizer link here this is where you just need that 15 mil allen wrench and then a and then a 15 millimeter wrench so yeah now we're ready to jack this thing up Yeah, I know this this jack looks a little bit sketchy. It's uh it's not the best jack for this, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jack this up uh, with the board under it. We're gonna compress that spring all the way up before we go ahead and uh, start removing that knuckle bolt. Yeah, that sucker is tight. And really, it's, it, man, you just, you got to get that just little wiggle. There we go. Got it right. cam bolt cam nut i'm gonna use this breaker bar with a a 17 mil socket and then a crescent wrench and that just gives you a little bit more torque yeah this is why you need that uh, anti-seize when you put it back in yeah all right i'm gonna go with the socket Ratchet now they got it loose. Alright, now we just need to take that nut off, the lock nut, and then we'll uh there we go. Then we'll get the uh cam nut. Alright, there's our stabilizer link. We're just gonna Remove that, put it on our stiletto. All right, so for this, all you need is this uh, 15 mil and the, and the Allen wrench again. 15 millimeter, uh, sorry, 15 millimeter wrench and five millimeter Allen wrench. 
and uh, you're just holding it in place, put the Allen wrench on the end, and then uh, undo the nut that holds that stabilizer link in. Uh, like I say, then we will uh, we'll put that on the uh, stiletto. There we go. All right, so this is how it's gonna kind of fit in there. But you gotta loosen these two nuts here uh, in order to kind of give yourself a little room. So we're gonna use a, uh, what do we got here? 18 millimeter, uh, oh, that's tough. Yeah, you gotta have, eat your Wheaties before you do that one. Uh, it's a 18 millimeter, uh, socket and a 16 millimeter wrench and all you got to do is just you really just need to loosen it enough that you can uh, you can pull this little little uh, little part out for the uh, stabilizer link to go in so we're just gonna loosen these nuts up far enough you don't have to take them all and that looks about good all right let's put that then there's a hole there and it all makes sense it all lines up properly because it can only go one way all right and you've already put the nut back on the top part that way uh you know which way it goes uh so then we're back to that five millimeter allen and a 15 millimeter or yeah five millimeter allen 15 millimeter wrench uh and you don't want to tighten this up too tight because you want to have a little bit of play uh, for whenever we mount the stiletto up there, you know, so you can kind of maneuver it. So now, once you got it in, and it's just going back and tightening. Uh, tighten back up. All right, now we've kind of gotten that a little bit tighter. And we're gonna we're gonna tighten that just a little bit more on the stabilizer link uh, before we go ahead and mount the stiletto. We just want it tight, just firm. All right, let's uh. All right, we're going to get put the cam bolt back in the way it came out and up. Oh, but just gonna. Wait, I put that in the wrong way. This one, this one goes back in the back. Sorry, the other one you gotta reverse it. But put that back in. Put the bolt through. There we go. You gotta seed your cam nut on the back side. All right. Get to the nut. Lock nut. Gonna go ahead and where's that at? Alright. So make sure that's lined up. Alright, so going back with the crescent and ratchet and just gonna kind of tighten it up. This is where that mark's going to come into play a little bit here. And we're not trying to torque it down. Just trying to get it pretty tight, snug. So let me show you what we got. Alright, so you look here, you got that the first one, that, that's the cam nut there. And you see the line that we made, little mark with the red. Uh, marker and so we're kind of we're going to try to line that up you don't need to just yet but kind of seeds in those little recesses there and then the, the lock nut goes uh over the top of that so we just kind of not going to worry about that being lined up right now you just want it loose enough that when we're done with the knuckle bolt we can yeah we can seed it in there 
and get our lines to match up and then we'll torque it down so um, really like I say you're just you're just trying to get it somewhat tight right now but uh, but we're not torquing it down yet all right if you're taking off a lift a rear lift jar had like I had the hazard sky you want to make sure that you take this set screw uh, back out of, uh, of your little knob there so if you don't do that then it's it's gonna sit weird it's gonna sit up too tall so you gotta make sure you get that thing out and then there you go now you're uh now you're ready to put your spring back in all right so whenever you're doing this part all right so we got our spring back on and we've got to make sure that we got to get this knob lined up uh with a little hole there and then oh there it popped all right perfect all right so far so good all right so we've got the uh the uh, spring in i just want to pause for a second and make sure you understand that whenever you're jacking this up whenever you're trying to get that uh uh, that control arm back in uh, you got to really watch the swivel bushing on the on the uh, on the knuckle on the wheel knuckle there uh, what that thing will do is as you come up you're trying to set the both sides of your uh, of your control arm you're trying to get them on both sides of that swivel bushing and that is tight that's tight fit so as you're coming up if you hit it on the side any it ends up rotating it all right so You've got to really line that up perfectly. So as you come up, you can do a couple different things. Uh, what I did last time I did a lift, and I'll probably do this time, is I just basically went up slow and then would move my control arm as needed to get into that swivel bushing nice and straight. Okay. So all in all, so far this has been a pretty easy install. It's really not that difficult. But let's go ahead and finish this up, uh, get this thing done. I'm excited to get this thing out there and test it out. This is a process. So it's going to kind of try to push it towards the back on you. So if you can kind of hold it more towards the front when you first start, that'll help. So it wants to go back. It doesn't want to go forward. Kind of. All right. Here's where it gets interesting. Okay, a little more. A little more. Now. What you're watching for, a lot of it has to do with this. going into that gap just right so if you see that start to twist like that they were a little off so this is when it gets fun
video. Alright, now we can start torquing everything down. We've got, we've got everything attached except for the stabilizer link, so start with this knuckle bolt. Once it's torqued down, then we can drop the jack. Let's see what we've got here. Alright. Drop that. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set this. Uh, and it's just lining that, getting that line, that mark that we made. So I'm just turning that uh, that cam nut, the back nut that has the line on it, and lining it up with our mark. So we made that red mark, and then now I can tighten up the lock nut on it. And hopefully we'll just we'll see hopefully it'll uh it'll be somewhat aligned uh, I'll probably I'm gonna go ahead and get it go ahead and get alignment after this anyways anytime you mess with your suspension really you should get alignment regardless all right last thing we got to do is put on the stabilizer link and just gotta pull down this little there. We'll get the nut back on, and this is it. Well, I mean, other than I gotta put my tire back on, but this is it, and then we're done. Really, not bad. All right, so there you go. There's uh, there's the install. I just showed you one side. Uh, there is one thing that I do need to tell you. Uh, the what is it? The right side. You have to do just a little bit different whenever you're removing the uh, cam bolt. So when you're removing the cam bolt on that on that uh, control arm, you can't slide the cam bolt out. The RDM's on that side, and so it won't it won't actually fit all the way out. So uh, what what D uh, uh, recommends you do is either use a, a, some sort of cutting device or uh, bolt cutters or something along those lines, and just cut that bolt. He sends you a, an extra bolt. He sends you a bolt for that right side. So then uh, when you insert it, when you put the stiletto on, you put that bolt in backwards. That's why you may have seen me put it in the wrong way on the wand because I was already thinking, let's put it in this way. But So you'll end up actually flipping that bolt around and putting it in the opposite direction. But uh, let me, well here, I'll, I'll show you what I did. All right, last thing I want to do is we got to do our measurements. Well, here, let me show you. I guess I should show you the uh, end product. So that's what we're looking at. It definitely looks to me like we've added some ground clearance there. All right, then in the back, there they are. Those suckers look nice, don't they? All right, so I have actually been driving this this is a week later ish so i've been driving it for about a week because i wanted to do the measurements after the uh, suspension everything had time to settle you know because it does take a little bit of time to settle uh, your measurements won't be quite accurate if you do it immediately afterwards so so we did these measurements before we did the control arm swap we're going to do the exact same ones uh, now that we have the stilettos on and they've had time to settle let's see what we gained out of this thing all right, that's the muffler, the center of it. Look flat, look flat. It's like 14 inches. Maybe a shade over 14 inches, but around 14. 
I'll have to look at my numbers. Do -do, that's where I measured it last time. And about right there. Looks like 11 and a quarter. Now I do remember that one being 9 inches. So, like I say, you're gaining a little bit of lift right off the bat, but then you're also gaining that extra ground clearance because it's at an angle as opposed to swoosh, the little swoosh up, swoop, whatever. So, we definitely gain there. Alright, now, right in the middle of the tire, the top of the fender here. See how she sits. 30, that's 36 and a half. Alright, let me check my measurements before I'll get back to you. Alright, the verdict is in. So, let me just give you the numbers real quick. So, before with Hazard Sky, the rear muffler was at 13 inches. After with the stiletto uh, install, it was at 14 inches. The rear wheel well was at 35 and a half inches. Uh, after the stilettos, 36 and a half inches. And the rear control arm was at 9 inches. And now it's at 11 and a quarter inches. Now, I was just measuring from the hole where the uh, stabilizer link goes in. So, I measured it from there on both control arms. But... There's the numbers. So, that's what I got. I got an extra inch, basically, all around with the stilettos versus having the hazard sky lift. Now, I had the 2-inch lift level, so the rear was never a true 2-inch lift, but that's one of the great things about this, is it's a true 2-inch lift. So, I'm really liking this so far. Let me tell you about it. Alright, so, I've been driving it, like I say, for about a week now, and immediately, like right off the bat, I could tell that there was improved ride quality to this thing i mean it it really is and it's something i i messaged d immediately after i started driving it well about the time i got home and said hey i you know i wasn't expecting this but the ride quality's gotten better and he said you know some people notice that right away and some people don't i definitely notice it so i'm not trying to sell you on these i'm not trying to sell these to you i'm just telling you in my opinion so far i haven't had it really off-roading i've had it just uh, on gravel drives and stuff like that rough terrain sure a little bit but no serious off-roading i look forward to doing that soon but i'm not trying to sell you on these i'm just telling you what i've so far have gotten out of them real improvement over this over your aluminum i mean hear that thing now there's steel back there i feel better about it it just there's a little peace of mind that's added to 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 off-roading now with these on there all right so eight just like I say, I'm not trying to sell them to you, but I will tell you, I know D was saying uh, whenever I contacted him about that, that he does have a couple of pre-production run models uh, available that he's selling at a discount. So check that out. Go over to his website at gleamingalloy.com if you're interested in a set of these. Get in on it before they go to the production run model. Uh, so check that out. Check out Gleaming Alloy. Check out the other stuff he's got, the XO plates, things like that. So hey, hope you liked the video. Hope this was helpful. Hope the install. Uh, hope, it, hope it helped you decide whether or not you want to try to tackle something like this at your house or not. But I will be letting you guys know more about how these work out whenever I hit the trails. What I think about them and stuff like that in, in future videos. So I look forward to it. Alright. Hey. See you in the next one.